Okay, I think we're ready to go here. Get some water going. We'll hook up the speed control for the drive motor. I think that's about what I want. That looks pretty good. Now we'll get a little sand going here. Nice feed rate, that looks pretty good. We'll see how we do. Slow that down just a little bit. Now we're using the green box that puts the shot right at the outflow level. You can see that material is moving pretty fast. There's a view down in the feed hopper. Now yeah, we'll see how we do. You can tell that this material doesn't have near the dirt in it because the water is staying cleaner. So we'll see what happens. I'll be back in a few minutes. Heck, I almost forgot to put the tungsten in there. So we're just going to sprinkle that around in there and then I'm going to mix it up and, and we'll see what happens. You can see we had a little gravel in that material and I don't want to just try to paw it out of there so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dump a little more shot in there and the shot is just place the gravel So we'll clean this mess up and get that stuff out of the hutch into the bucket and we'll see what we got back later. Got everything cleaned out and there's the result. looks like maybe about half of what we had yesterday with that all that mud and silt in there so it kind of looks to me like the amount of conj you end up with this is probably there might be two quarts there <clears throat> I'm not sure there are there might only be a quart and a half. So that would be... A quart would be 16 to 1. A quart and a half probably be 13 to 1, something like that. 12 to 1. Wouldn't it be... 
assuming we had four gallons roughly to start with so we're probably looking at 12 or 13 to 1 concentration ratio which for the first pass through probably isn't bad although I know out there at the big lost I was running 20 22 to 1 and you notice there's a lot of black sand in this and that really heavy material may reduce the concentration ratio because anything that's as heavy as the steel shot or nearly will go through and that's the idea and everything that's lighter will get pushed out but when you've got a lot of those fines in there it's obvious that um, you're still going to get a lot of that slime go down in the cons. So I think the secret to all of this is to clean that material before it goes through the jig. I know that they recommend de-sliming and I think that means to get rid of you know everything below a certain size and that would include silt and mud and all of that ultra fine material down there around 200, 300, 400 mesh and even finer and how you do that may be difficult washing that material. I know that trying to wash it through that 100 mesh screen wasn't easy um, that would be quite time consuming so anyway that's going to about do it for this for now I'll be back in a bit I'm going to get a pan and pan this stuff down and see how much tungsten we ended up with see you in a bit I only took one scoop out of the bucket this is what's left in there and there is the tungsten. There's some of the sand. And I pan that down and I'm not going to take the trouble to pan the rest of that down. There's also, I don't know if you can see it, but one little flake of gold there, which doesn't surprise me. I know there's gold here in the snake of course it's really fine flower gold and I don't even know if that'll come out on the video so that's about the end of it guys uh, if anybody's got any suggestions don't hesitate to contact me see you later